it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my first Thrive Market haul. So I have seen and heard of Thrive Market for quite some time, and a lot of times the stores here locally don't necessarily have all of the items that I'm looking for, especially some of the items that work better with my newer eating habits. So they had a lot of really good healthy choices here at Thrive Market, so I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. So this, again, is my first Thrive Market haul. Let's go ahead and take a look in the box and see what I got. So here's how it came. It's a really uh, big box here, and it's packed pretty nicely. And you can see right off the bat, a bunch of shelf-stable riced cauliflower. So I thought since I love a riced cauliflower so much lately, I would really love to have some um, on my pantry shelf. Now I also, if you saw my Costco haul recently, I also picked up some of the shelf-stable uh, riced cauliflower at Costco. So I'm gonna have to give them all a try and see which ones I like the best. This is the Thrive Market Organic Riced Cauliflower. And this bag here has two and a half servings, it says, very low in calorie. Just uh, some basic ingredients there. And a nice long shelf date there, a little over a year. So that is rice cauliflower. And as you can see again, I did get quite a bit of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these all out of the box. So as you can see, I got a good stock of the rice cauliflower. And again, I'm gonna really have to give this a try and let you know what I think of it. I also decided to try the riced broccoli. I love broccoli very much, and I've been wanting to try out riced broccoli. Um, I can find it in the frozen section, and I've tried a riced cauliflower and broccoli um, before, and it was really good. So I thought that I would give this a try as well. So I picked up some rice broccoli also. Next, I got some Jovial brand einkorn items. I have purchased Jovial before from Azure Standard. Um, but I just thought I would go ahead and grab some while I was shopping here at Thrive Market. I picked up some of the whole wheat fusilli, a little spiral pasta in einkorn. Since I'm having to avoid gluten, this is a low gluten index, and it says that it's easy to digest. So I'd be really curious to experiment with this whole wheat einkorn here and see if I digest it a little bit better than regular wheat. So I thought that I would give that a try for nights when, um, we want to have pasta, although lately that's been really rare. I'm eager to try this out though. Picked up two boxes of that. I also picked up some of the einkorn sea salt crackers. Again, because it is lower on the gluten index and it's easier to digest, I thought that this could potentially be an option uh, to swap out for my saltines. I love saltines and I used to eat saltine crackers all the time, but I haven't been doing that lately because of avoiding carbs and gluten. So I thought I would give the sea salt einkorn crackers a try. And here's some more of the pasta from Jovial. This time it's gluten-free and it is a penne pasta. So I'm excited about this one too. This has brown rice flour and water. Of course, it's still high on the carb list, so it's not gonna be something that I eat all the time. But if I want to make a pasta meal really rarely, then I wanted to try out a couple of options. So we'll try out this gluten-free penne. And I picked up two boxes of that. So that's it for the first side. And now for the next side here. My grandchildren love eating little pasta side dishes with their food, so I thought I would pick up this gluten-free rice pasta and cheddar from Annie's. Got a couple of those. That way, if my grandkids are having some, I can have some too. Plus, I'll be really curious to see what they think of the gluten-free pasta. And I've heard really good things about the kettle and fire uh, chicken broth here. So I thought I would go ahead and try out some of the Kettle and Fire brand chicken broth. I go through a lot of chicken broth um, when I make my soups. Sometimes I make my own, but it's really nice to have some on the shelf. Then I picked up some organic pineapple. This is freeze-dried. I love freeze-dried pineapple. It's such a yummy snack. Definitely a treat. I'll be eager to try that out. For more experimenting with einkorn, I picked up a small bag of the einkorn whole wheat flour. Just a little tiny bag. Again, just to try that out. I would love to try this out in my mom's carrot bread recipe. I did share that on this channel a little while back. It's definitely one of my favorite quick breads, and I haven't had bread in a really long time, 
So I think that I will love to try it out with uh, this flower here. And I have mentioned this uh, brand in the past. So I was really excited that Thrive Market sold Pashka. Um, this is the Pashka No Sugar Added 100% uh, Cacao Organically Unsweetened Dark Chocolate Chips. I eat a little tiny square of the Pashka Dark Chocolate with Cocoa Nibs. Um, all the time. It definitely gives me a little fun treat to eat without being too much sugar. Just again a little tiny uh, square of that. And so I thought that these Pashka no sugar added chocolate chips could also uh, work for that. And I know how much I love the Pashka chocolate. It's absolutely delicious. So I am really excited to try these too. And then I picked up some spices. I'm going to be cleaning out my spice drawer here coming up really soon and I need to refresh a lot of my spices. So this is some oregano by Simply Organic. And I go through garlic powder all the time. So I picked up some Simply Organic garlic powder. And also next to the garlic powder, I do use onion powder as well. So some Simply Organic onion powder. And then a nice jar here of the Simply Organic paprika. I love sprinkling paprika on the top of a lot of different recipes for color. And then for the rest of the spices for today, I picked up this organic spice kit, uh, the baking essentials it says. So it comes with cinnamon sticks, ginger, cinnamon, and pumpkin spice. This will be nice to have some fresh spices in my spice drawer, especially next fall when I start doing some of my holiday baking. So lots of good spices there. I'm excited about that. And then I picked up some of the organic cauliflower bites. I've tried these before from Costco, but I like the smaller size bag here. I love looking for different alternatives for snacking, and I love cauliflower. Then I picked up some Wild Planet Wild Mackerel. This is the skinless and boneless little fillets in extra virgin olive oil. Then I picked up some pitted dates here. I love dates. I think that they are absolutely delicious. So I thought that I would give Thrive Market's dates a try. I still have plenty of dates left from my last big purchase from Azure Standard. But again, I do love trying new different types of dates and different brands of dates just to see which ones I love. So I thought I would try these out. And if you saw my last Walmart and Costco haul, um, from Walmart, I picked out two gluten-free pancake mixes and I decided to try the King Arthur one here as well. That way, when the family is having pancakes, which is really um, not very often, but when we do, I would like to be able to join them as well. So I thought that I would try out King Arthur's gluten-free pancake mix. That way I could sample all the different gluten-free pancake mixes and find the one that I love the best. And this was the free gift that they offered. You could pick, I, I believe you could pick between three things. And I chose these beef sticks here, the Chomps grass-fed and finished beef. It's got a lot of protein and zero sugar, so I thought that these would be really great for snacking on. And again, this was a free bonus, which I thought was really exciting. It also says that it is free of all the major food allergens, which I was really um, happy about as well. So some chomps beef sticks here. So that is my first Thrive Market haul. You can see all the different fun choices that I got. It's not a super huge order here, but it is a nice amount to try out from Thrive Market. I was really happy with how they shipped everything super quickly. I look forward to placing an order in the future with some of their perishable items. They have frozen things available as well. So I'll be curious to see how they pack and ship that. But it was really nice getting a few items here for my pantry. Lots of really good and interesting choices. So I'm really excited to try all these fun items here. I'm especially excited to try the 100% dark chocolate Pashka chocolate chips, as well as my freeze-dried pineapple. Those are definitely treats that I'm really looking forward to trying out, as well as sampling the riced cauliflower and the rice broccoli and all of the other goodies that I have to try out here. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my Thrive Market haul. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.